Hey guys, welcome to part 3 of 2 weeks Tazi itinerary. We are now on day 10 and went further up towards east from Port Arthur to a must see destination of Tasmania which is Presnet National Park. Your destination is on the left. Presnet National Park's operated campgrounds are free and are allotted based on a lottery system that opens months and months prior to the date you are planning to visit. Keep that in mind if you are planning to camp in one of them. We had booked an unpowered site in the Fresnet Paintball Campground which is a private property. This is a huge campground overlooking the Molting Lagoon. The only challenge was that toilet and shower are in the office building which was a bit of a walk. Other than that this campground is too good. This campground has many good reviews on Google and our experience was no different. For lunch we went to the seafood heaven Fresnet Marine Farm. It was my first time trying a crayfish. It was packed with flavors. If you are not a fan of oyster, just have it a go here. It may change your perception altogether like it did for me. Also I loved the octopus and scallops. The next attraction for us was Wine Glass Bay Lookout. To get to this lookout, you need to walk, walk, walk and climb. But eventually you will get there. And you will realize that all that walk was worth it. No wonder it is one of the bucket list spots in Tasmania. The next day morning we stopped for coffee at Bijeno. It is a small coastal fishing and holiday town with beautiful beaches and coastal scenery. On a few minutes drive there is this governor island which is a nature reserve. There were so many birds here. So beautiful. For camping at St Helens we chose the Big Four Holiday Park. It's very well maintained, lots of camping or stay options and nice facilities. The kitchen was so good that we baked some pies for lunch. We then headed out to this incredibly beautiful Bay of Fires. blue water red rocks this place is so beautiful i felt so lucky to be here on our return we saw a bunch of pelicans and i couldn't resist going to see them from close the next morning it was nice and sunny and we spent some time on the lovely george's bay looking at the glistening water it was so relaxing
Penny Royal Adventures is Tasmania's only theme park. It's an exciting place for kids. In fact, there is something exciting for all age group here. For dining, I would highly recommend Stillwater. It sits right on the bank of Tamar River and has a beautiful lookout and serves fantastic food. Next, we went to the Cataract Gorge, which is just 15 minutes walk from the city center. The surprising proximity of city and natural serenity makes it special for travelers. The natural history of the gorge stretches back tens of millions of years. You can spend the whole day here. This place has a lot to offer. Let me show you what are the highlights of this place. Starting from the world's longest single span chairlift. In the afternoon, we headed to Temer Island Wetlands, which is also one of the 60 great short walks of Tasmania. The walk had just started and they saw something. That was a little lowland copperhead snake. Only 10 minutes drive from the city center, this unique ecosystem is abundant with plant and animal life. The wetlands are popular with bird watchers and walkers. Birds, reptiles and frogs are constantly seen or heard darting through the thick rush grasses beside the path. The next morning we went to explore the Launceston city. This city has old world charm. It has some beautiful buildings and parks that have historical importance. We then headed to Lilydale Falls, which is an easy walk to the stunning waterfall. The last attraction of our Tasmania trip was Brightstow Lavender Estate. It is the largest lavender farm in the Southern Hemisphere, famous for its spectacular view of the lavender in bloom in December and January. This charming and romantic location was a perfect ending of our trip. We then drove to Devonport and caught the Spirit of Tasmania ferry to go back to Geelong. I have uploaded a video on the spirit of Tasmania sailing and most important things to know. Link is in the description. Check that out if needed. Thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe for more such content.